Just because we're meeting in chambers does not mean that courtroom rules do not apply. Trust me, they do. And I will enforce them. Understood? Absolutely, Your Honor. Understood, Your Honor. And may I just say that we will be investigating this charge of inappropriate oh, communication. Justin, I saved you the trouble. In fact, here is a list of all the calls from Judge Pierce made to him and received by him. And um, this is a copy of his signed statement. Thank you. Uh, but I want it on record that I knew nothing about this, Your Honor, nor did my client. And I trust that this incident will not prejudice you against her? I'll accept that you nor your client knew anything about it. But it is a part of the record now, Mr. Kyriakis. Miss Brady, you'll go first. Why should Miss Lane be awarded custody of this child? Thank you, Your Honor. Fact. Nicole Walker and her fiance, Daniel Jonas, signed a document giving Chloe Lane blanket permission to be implanted with one of their embryos at any time. The first attempt failed. And then sadly, Dr. Jonas was then killed in a tragic car accident. After which, Miss Lane attempted a second pregnancy, and this one was successful. I didn't know it at first. But when she did realize that she was carrying their baby, she also discovered that Miss Walker was in a very serious relationship with an extremely dangerous man named Amos Kiriakis. Uh, Your Honor, objection. Miss Lane has shown no evidence proving that this man is Your dangerous Honor, in any way. Your Honor, Amos Kiriakis crippled a woman in order to extract money from her husband, his brother. I can add more instances of his behavior if you like. Overruled. Let her finish. Your Honor, Nicole Walker has biology on her side, yes. But that's it. Knowing full well what Deimos Kyriakis is capable of, she continues to plan a marriage to him, which would put baby Holly in an environment that could threaten her welfare, possibly her existence. Oh, that is not true. But of course, that's not the only reason that we would want to prove that Miss Walker is unfit to raise baby Holly. Your Honor, if I may. No, you may not. I told you, let her finish. Miss Brady? <clears throat> Your Honor, Nicole Walker in the past has been involved in pornographic films. In fact, she was quite the star. You are making it sound like, you know, our I list of felonies includes shooting her father, attempted murder of her ex-husband, multiple attempts to pass off someone else's child as her own, including pretending to be pregnant and then stealing Samantha Brady's baby as she tried to pawn that off as her own. And then, of course, there was the stunt involving my client and a flesh-eating bacteria. I think you see where I'm going with this, Your Honor. Your Honor, these so-called facts are irrelevant. I could stand here and list Chloe Lane's felonies and shortcomings, but it would take me all day to do so. The only relevant fact is that Nicole Walker is this child's biological mother. You'll get your chance, Counselor. Sit down. And this is the last time I'm going to tell you this. Since the past seems to be so painful, why don't we just focus on the present? As I mentioned earlier, Nicole Walker is engaged to Deimos Kyriakis, who engaged in illegal contact with a sitting judge trying to ensure the outcome of this case. Your Honor, she is deeply influenced by this man knowing full well that he's a danger to society. How influenced is she by him? Well, just recently, in order to protect her violent fiance, Miss Walker stabbed and nearly killed a man. He was an assassin. Most people don't have assassins coming after them. Your Honor, if baby Holly were to be raised by Nicole Walker, her life would be in danger. And her formative years would be spent in the worst possible environment. I think the choice is really clear here. Thank you. <laughs>